Hey guys, how's it going? Spinosaurus the King here, and in this video, I'm going to be joined by a very special guest. He's featured on the channel before. Before, go ahead, man, introduce yourself. What up, everyone? It's your boy Jurassic Lizard 16 again. Yep. So in today's video, we're going to be doing theories on the Allosaurus and Jurassic World Dominion if it does come back, because I'm pretty sure it has a very, very high chance of coming back in Jurassic World Dominion. So. Yeah, man, how about you start off telling us what you think we'll see the Allosaurus do and what kind of role you see it happening if it comes in uh, Jurassic World Dominion. Hmm. Now, the only role I can think of the Allo coming back, because obviously we've seen her escape from Fallen Kingdom, along with another being captured by a buyer. I say, like, one scene we will see is her escaping from her buyer, buyer by either eating him alive, or, you know, just escaping without, uh, any, mm, like, no, uh, basically, like, she uses her smarts. And for the other that showed up in Battle of Big Rock, I say she might get a revenge on the family that shot her with two harpoons near her eye. Okay, so I honestly you, her. Okay, so you think there's, there's gonna be, uh, two Allosaurus in this movie? I am down to see, like, a three-pack happen. It'd be dope. Well, you know what's really cool? I, uh, I, there's, there's a rumor going on that apparently the Allosaurus we saw in, in Battle of Big Rock was none of the Allosauruses in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and I don't think it was too, because because there's no spikes on the other ones, and, and the color was different as well. So my personal opinion is that the Allosaurus that we saw in uh, Fallen Kingdom, those were all females, but the one we saw in Battle of Big Rock was a big old male Allosaurus. What do you think? Um, actually, Con Trevorrow confirmed on his Twitter that the Battle of Big Rock uh, Allo is exactly a female. Oh, so are you sure? Because like I, I thought I thought I read somewhere it's a male. So Colin, hmm, I guess you have to send me that. So Colin actually Colin confirmed it to be a female. Yep. Okay, I guess my theory was wrong on that. I, for the longest time, I thought it was a male because of the spikes. Uh, it's cool. We make mistakes sometimes. True, but still, I'm not sure if that's the Allosaurus we saw in Fallen Kingdom because I don't think an Allosaurus would grow four or five meters in just one year, even on steroids. Like. I think that must have been a different yeah. Allosaurus, in my opinion. I mean, we saw Rexy grew up to be a full-grown adult in just two I, years ever since Jurassic Park started. So. Actually, you know, five years. She was born in 1988, and then Jurassic Park 1993, so five years. Oh, right, five years. Uh, yeah, damn. so okay. I really think yeah. the Allosaurus in, uh, in Fallen Kingdom, the, the one in Battle of Big Rock, I feel like it was a sub-adult to them, maybe. Like, maybe it was around probably nine to ten meters. But we didn't see it. I mean, some people had told her, told me like she looks as big as Rexy, or practically the same size. Actually, that's that's wrong. The confirmed size of the Allosaurus in Battle of Big Rock is forty feet, so Rexy's forty three feet, so just just slightly smaller. Uh, so I say like as big as a male T Rex. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The Allosaurus we saw in Battle of Big Rock was the exact same size as Buck from the Lost World. You can put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Which is based on the bigger Allosaurus species. Because, like, before Saurophoginix, there is a species that reached 12 meters. Yep. According to, you know, fossil evidence, right? Oh, yeah. And that's my favorite Allosaurus, the one that reached 12 meters. My second favorite species is the, the Saurophoginix. My third is Fragilis. Fragilis is, in fact, uh, what the walking with dinosaurs allo is. Nice. Well, I think the Fragilis one, the, the biggest that one got was 10 meters, right? 8.5 to 10 meters, I'm pretty sure, right? Mm, oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so like, okay, anyways, I'll talk about my theories on what I think we're going to see in Jurassic World uh, Dominion. Now, if we do see the Allosaurus from Fallen Kingdom in its paddock, maybe we'll see one scene of it just like eating its owner and escaping. That's probably it for that one. But I think the Battle Bigger one will have a bigger role. Due to the Allosaurus being more popular, I don't really see the Fallen Kingdom ones having a big role, if not any role at all. I mean, they were juveniles, so they practically grew up. I know, but like, they, they just don't look as cool as the Battle Big Rock one is, a, is an all-time favorite Allosaurus now. You know that, right? Yeah, apparently some people still prefer Fallen Kingdom over Battle Big Rock, even though like um, Fallen Kingdom. Uh, while I don't hate the design, it just had really weird crest. Yeah, it wasn't really. And it I just would... seemed to be medium sized. Yeah, it's funny too because the Allosaurus in the Fallen Kingdom and Baryonyx in Fallen Kingdom were not not scientifically accurate, looked like you know. Exactly. Oh yeah, it is the truth. But anyways, yeah, what I think we'll see in in, in Dominion with the Allosaurus, I have a good feeling we'll see a scene of it fighting um, probably a Sukumimus or a Carnotaurus because 
those are battles that probably Colin Jabari even would, would want to probably play. Hmm, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing her going up against the new Pseudoceratops again. Hmm. I mean, that would be cool, but, like, I personally wouldn't want to see that just because it's not a fair fight, and we already saw that in Battle of Big Rock, if you know what I mean. Mm, oh, yeah. I personally would want to see it fight Sukumimus, and uh, I feel like the Herbivore versus the Carnivore fight in Dominion should probably... I really hope they choose it to be Allosaurus versus Stegosaurus. Don't you agree? Predator and Prey. Yeah. I'd like to see that. And, ho and I really hope they'll make the Allosaurus win. Mm, oh, yeah. But yeah, no, I think that could be cool. So in Jurassic World Dominion, we, hopefully we can get, like, maybe two to three scenes with the Allosaurus. Like, maybe we can get a scene with it fighting a Sukumimus, and then it fights a Stegosaurus. And then maybe we see the other Allosaurus that we saw in Fallen Kingdom escape from its paddock. Those are, I think, those are the only three scenes I could give. I could probably think of the, of the Allosaurus actually having due to the other dinosaurs being in this movie, too. Because we all know this is going to be kind of like the end game of Jurassic World, which means there's going to be a lot more dinosaurs in the other films. But now, if I see any poachers shooting and start killing my poor little Ella, I'm gonna flip shit. I, I don't. I don't think they'll be do. I, I don't think that'll happen, bro. I, I honestly. But if it does, oh my god, I'm not just gonna be sad. I'm gonna be pissed over at Conjavaro and the whole filmmakers for doing that. I, I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I won't be mad if it happens to Blue or Rexy, but if it happens to any of the other dinosaurs, I'm gonna be furious. But in terms of any other scenes, I mean. I don't think they're going to show another scene with an Allosaurus taking out a trailer, because we already saw that in Battle of Big Rock. So, I think what we're probably going to see is the Allosaurus fighting uh, Sukumimus and fighting uh, Stegosaurus, and then we, maybe we see the other Allosaurus that was bought escape from its, uh, its paddock and eat its owners, maybe? You know, even though this may or may not happen, I would love to see a family of Allosaurus just resting in, within a forest with the mom and dad by its sides and their babies within the middle. I mean, that could be a possibility too. We see like an Allosaurus family in one scene. Just goes to show that even theropods can have love and affection as well. True. I mean, that could be another theory, but my top, my, my top three picks of, of what will happen is for what, the one theory I for sure is uh, I really think I, I think there's a like an 85% chance we'll see Allosaurus versus Stegosaurus in this movie. I just really think it's possible. The Battle Big Rock one? Oh yeah. And then my second pick is probably we're going to see um, uh, the Allosaurus from Fallen Kingdom escape from its paddock and eat its owners and it's fully grown and it's, and it's the different design maybe. I say it'll be the same as Battle Big Rock. Well, maybe with a different color though. I know, I think different color. It will have the spikes, it's fully grown, but it's going to have a different color. It's going to be like a grayish, grayish yellow look, you know? Mm, I say maybe red, maybe or red maybe too. just stick with the blue. Yeah. But, um, and then my third pick, what will happen is we're gonna, we will have this, will there be a scene with the Allosaurus fighting a Sukumimus? I just think that would be really cool, because like, if Sukumimus is in this movie, one of the roles could be it fighting the Allosaurus, you know? Yeah, I like, like to imagine a Suko just going around the water, trying to eat any fish, just when it seems that it sees prey up on the shore and attacks it, it actually encounters an aloe, and that's when the fight starts. Yeah, the fight could be something like that, maybe like... um. while Owen and Claire are kind of looking, you know, Franklin, because I'm guessing Franklin... Well, I'm not too sure if Flankrun and, and Zaya are going to be with them. Maybe they're on the phone talking to them, guiding them to how to get to Bayou. Uh, actually, they are. A set photo reveals that. Okay, so they're going to be, they, perhaps they're going to be helping Maisie. Helping to get Maisie back. So what you know, What if we yeah, see yes. a scene like this? I'm going to make a little theory here. So what if there's a scene where they're walking through this area where that's kind of a forest-like look, and then they come across this lake or pond thing, and maybe they um they get into this, like, canoe or boat thing and then they see a Sukumimus in the water it attacks them they get away from it eventually and, and they're swimming away they get on the land shore and then, and then sleeping nearby is the Allosaurus from Battle Big Rock it wakes up and then boom they get on land they get into a fight what do you think of that theory you honestly should be one of the writers I know but unfortunately Colin Trevorrow or, or you know Universal Pictures do not want to hire me so it's, it's sad but what can you do right anyways yeah, but like I think that could be a really cool scene with the Sukumimus though and Allosaurus. I think that's almost guaranteed to happen if Sukumimus is in this movie. And then the other scene with Allosaurus is the Stegosaurus scene. Like maybe um 
maybe that fight could actually take place right after the Tsukumimas and Allosaurus wave. But, like, what could happen is the humans are running away, and they get away from, like, the fight, and then eventually they see, like, a herd of... They see a herd of Stegosaurus is walking by them, and then there's a baby Stegosaurus, and the Allosaurus walks by, and then the mother Stegosaurus goes crazy, they get into a fight so she can protect her baby, and the humans just run away. I'd be down to see that, honestly. I think, yeah, I think that could be a really cool scene, but... So, what are your theories? The family Allosaurus, and then seeing, um, what else was there? I think your other theory was seeing the Fallen Kingdom Allosaurus escape, but do you have any theories with the Battle of Big Rock Allosaurus? Well, uh, I say, you know, Fallen Kingdom Allos, obviously gonna grow to be Battle of Big Rock Allo, so that's still the same. I don't I, have anything else, though. I know, but I think it would be a different color, though, because, you know, the colors were quite different on both Allos, you know? The... Uh, yeah, well, actually, in the film, they both looked at the same color, so I say otherwise. Are you sure? Because like, I thought the one in Fallen Kingdom was gray. It wasn't it like a grayish blue with yellow on it. And the one we saw in Battle of Big Rock was a dark blue in like a, a golden yellow on the bottom. It was quite different. Isn't it? <laughs> well, you may never know. True. But, yeah. But other than that, I can't come up with any other scenes we'll see the Allosaurus. My prediction is they'll probably have like hopefully four to five minutes of screen time in this movie, but at least I think, I think around, I think roughly around four or five minutes. What do you think? If, if my yeah, scenes and That's exactly how I want the screen time to be. I don't want it to be one minute. I don't want it to be a few seconds. I just want it to I, be more than one. I think five minutes is, is would be enough screen time. Don't you think? Yeah, yes. Because they got to focus on I other agree. dinosaurs and other, and other scenes too, you know? I think five minutes is perfect. Mm -hmm. Six minutes max. Since they have a big budget, I think it's safe to say we're going to see tons of dinosaurs with, hopefully, the most screen time of all this in the whole franchise. Anyways, so, guys, tell us, what, what do you guys think? Do you guys hope to see the Allosaurus return in Jurassic World Dominion? If yes, which Allosaurus do you hope to see? The one from Battle of Big Rock or the one from Fallen Kingdom but fully grown? And if yes, what scenes would you like to see with the Allosaurus in Jurassic World Dominion? Tell us in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank my YouTube team, Patrick Kwan, my 2D animator, David Church, my director, B Kiko Crazy, my Spino buddy, GEM as James Ever McDonald, my YouTube reactor, Zane Chiller, my first friend in the Jurassic Park community on Instagram, and Ellis, my drawer, Spinosaurus Boy, my comedian, and Animal World, my best real life friend. Guys, if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate if you can all consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. And also turn on the notification bell so you're alerted for my next video. Leave a like, share with all your friends and family, post a comment, and rate. And do the exact same for my YouTube team. And have a nice day, everyone.